Hello Lulas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and make sure you leave me a comment below. But let's get started today. I am introducing to you guys my fin by Lillian Breville Dash Duress. <laughs> That's how her name is on Facebook. Um, also, um, guys, if you want to join the chat box, make sure that you click the link in the description bar. It does if you don't see a join now button it, beside your subscribe button. Um, it is a dollar and 99 cents to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. If you want your merch, um, you can also, there's a link below or you'll see, um, my merchandise down below. But anyway, guys, let's get started because I am so super excited to introduce you guys to Finn. I usually don't do this, but I, I know that I have a few people that is also getting either Finn or Faye. Finn and Faye both share the same body. Um, and for those of you that may be um, new to the doll world and new to collecting, um, Finn is a soft, so soft uh, silicone blank kit, not painted. Um, he is sculpted by a sculptor, um, a very, very amazing sculptor Lillian Breville and poured by um, Claire Taylor dolls um, so I wanted to show you guys what he looks like what he moved like and all that great jazz I was very impressed with this baby I do have to say this is one of one of my favorites you know guys Puck was will always be my favorite but this you know the newer babies he is really nice um, just for reference, he is about the same size or, you know, at least length wise, their sculpt sculpting is totally different. Her and, um, both Claire Tell are both amazing. Um, but they're, um, his size is close to Noah, you know, so he's a good size, but let me show you. I'm going to try to, I got to see what you guys to see. Let's start with my favorite part of babies. You know, I love on sculpts. I love hands, feet. Um, he just has so many beautiful things that I want to point out to you guys. So he has, this foot has all separate toes. And let's see if you can, see, let me see how I can get this camera. Mm, let's see. I want you guys to really see it, see it. Okay, so I'm going to, hang on, let it focus. Trying to see if it focused. Did it focus for you guys? Okay. Man, come on. Is there something on my list? Okay. Anyway, this is his feet. Um, very beautiful. He has beautiful ankles. Um, his nail beds are really nice. So that should be very fun to paint. This foot has um, it's all closed in together, kind of like a little ball foot. Let me show you that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Again, beautiful nail bags, beautiful sculpted feet. Um, the bottom of his feet, um, if you're familiar with Lillian, Lillian sculpting, you'll know sometimes she does pretty deep creasing. Um, or not creasing, but... I don't know what you call it, but her sculpting can be kind of deep. But this one is oh, that's as close as it get into it. Okay, but anyway, the bottom of the feet is nice. I like the top of the feet even more so, you know. And he has like his little kneecaps, which you know he has the really baby legs his um now I did opt for the elbow armatures he does not have a drinking wet I don't think no he doesn't have a drinking wet um just elbow armatures he has a little his oh let's see all right let me get back to it's so hard for me to see what you guys can see I'm not good at this 
All right, let's see. So I just wanted to see, show you guys his little, his little navel. So he has a cute little navel. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> um. So his, so the, I'm gonna do his his hands and feet and all that stuff. I'm just wanna get to it. Let me get him in a good position. I suck. <laughs> Slap the cameraman. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. His hands and feet are really nice. So we did his feet. I'll just show you he got a ball fist. And again, one of the most perfect fists I've ever seen. Lillian do. I love this fist. I love, well, I've always loved Lillian hands. But this, this fist is so beautiful. The nail beds. Oh my gosh, good nail beds definition. And like I said, the fist is really nice. Really, really nice. Um, then you have this open hand, which is beautiful. It's gonna be so much fun to paint. Um, the creasing inside the, the hand is not so, not too heavy. So should be easy for the paint. His finger, his fingers here. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Like, I was really impressed um, when I saw him. And of course, he has some of the most beautiful ears. He has, you know, some people can't sculpt ears that good, but Lillian is really good at it. And they're all just like really, and of course they're really soft because of that he's in a soft silicone. Um, this is a Caucasian blend, just so you guys know. Um, but yeah, nice detail in his ears. Now I know some of the collectors don't care about any of this, but, um, he has a beautiful mouth and I should have brought a pacifier. I might grab one. He can take a full pacifier. I did learn that. Um, and hang on, I'll grab a pacifier. I'll grab two different shapes but yeah so he can grab he can do a pacifier let me get so I'm in so you guys can see all right so he, like I said I chose brown eyes for mine but he has like I said an open mouth he has a little tongue in there he has gums up at the top and it's not deep deep but this is a nipple, full nipple, but he can take in. So I usually don't do this before I paint my dolls, but I'm gonna give him a good bath. So afterwards, so he can still take, as you see from the side, wait. you see from the side, he can take a full pacifier. Oh my, my, wait. You look so cute with a pacifier. That's what I told you was the cute with a pacifier. Um, this is another pacifier type nipple. I don't know. I have not tried this one on him, but I will try this one for you guys. His silicone is so soft. I love it. Oh yeah, look. He can take this one as well. So he he definitely can take a, a regular pacifier, guys, which is awesome. Um my Vivi could not take a pacifier. So like I said, he have elbow armatures, which allows him to bend. <laughs> and down, and up. And I can straighten him out, mommy. <laughs> so, okay, so. So he, um, his bottom areas, he's anatomically correct, and he, I think he's uncircumcised. Um, let me show you his back and his head of course turns very easily from one side to the next with no problem okay but this is his back and he's like poured in one piece of course um, this is a preemie diaper. I put it on purposely so I'll be able to 
show you guys more of, of him. All right, let me zoom in. So this is his back. Um, if you look close enough, if you look close enough, you will be able to see like an impression of a spine, but he does, you don't feel it. But when he bend, you can see like almost like she put a little spine there, which is pretty cool. I like it. So go ahead, Lily, and get fancy on us. Yes. So his little feet. Um, you guys know I always try to put the babies in this. He don't necessarily go completely in the froggy position, but I think he can go. Now he getting mad with me. And he can suck his finger. Let's see. You know, I always do this. So. <laughs> Look at that baby. Look. <laughs> Look at that stink of pool. <laughs> so, yeah, so. So yeah, so he is very flexible. Now let me show you. His neck is not a thin neck. He has a nice sculpted thick neck that I think will be really good for support. Um, but however, I do not just sling my babies around even to show you guys because I really value the art and I respect you know these artists work and I just I just wouldn't disrespect the art like that but I do know that people do like to see how flexible the baby is um, so I am going to show you he bends about like that that's without too much force um, he so he's he's soft. He's very he's very soft. He's just as soft as the other one. He has a little thicker belly. So the thicker their belly is, the. But if I wanted to, I could bend him like completely, in half, and that's pretty rough. I don't normally do that, but he's not painted, so we um we can we can play around. But yeah, like I said, with the soft silicone, you can they will bend and um. This is his head leaning forward. And if I take him, look at him. What you looking at? <laughs> this is him leaning back. I don't want to really let it go, but I can let it go. Um, it, it has support, but I just, like I said, I just wouldn't want to do that. So he is very poseable. You can, you know. He can he can have that unbothered look. You unbothered? There you go. He is definitely unbothered. What you looking at? Look. <laughs> so yeah, so he is going to be fun to paint, fun to work on. Um, again, like I said, the stomach, the shape of everything, is he's not wide in his belly, too wide. This is, um, I don't know, let me make sure you guys can even see. You know, his core is not hard. You know, he's soft. He wrinkles. Um, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I was, I have had the pleasure of feeling, um, you know, many, many different silicone blends and stuff like that. And um, I really love Claire's blend because it's, it's, it's really soft, but it's not, it still to me feels durable. Let me see. No, he might not quite suck his thumb that way. Okay. 
but one of the the main things for me as a collector was when I first started collecting silicone um, the heads didn't fall back they weren't floppy they were pretty here you want that one they were pretty um pretty stiff um in the core and that drove me insane because I was so used to reborns and the reborns had so much flexibility and so much posing abilities and so I was like well you know the silicone is good for dressing but not really so much of the cuddle factor but now with the soft blend it's a beautiful thing because now I can have both the best of both worlds pretty much um, like I said he can straighten his leg out <laughs> you can straighten it both ways or you can froggy him I know a lot of people like the froggy or you can bend one up and one down I don't like that but you can do that um, of course his hands are you know have different poses and stuff he can and like I said his head will turn easily and I love that and I just love the way she sculpted him like his hands and his feet is amazing he's so beautiful um so I am looking forward to painting this little one and um I will be working on him and I will show you guys when he is all complete but in the meantime this is the, the video that you guys get and I hope that you guys enjoyed my little brief review. I'm not used to doing this as much. Man, his feet is beautiful. Wow. I'm just, oh my God. Lillian, Lillian, Lillian. You did your thing. She is amazing. She's like my next go-to. When I don't go to get a Claire Teller baby, I love Lillian Breville as next. Her expressions on her babies is just so cute they're so realistic to real babies um expressions so i really love that about her babies i love the way she did the belly button too even though i have no idea exactly how i'm going to paint it but i'm going to try to find me a real baby with a similar belly button and see what the coloring look like oh my god i can't wait you see how his silicone just kind of falls slowly i love that he is and he is full of wonder you are full of wonder I got all these little staring babies I think I'm falling for the open eye babies guys but yeah I just love you know you know you know where we finna end up at right y'all know my favorite thing he don't go quite in the same ball up position as the other babies but he does enough he does enough he does enough. There we go. Alrighty, baby. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yep. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching again. Um, this is Finn by Lily and Briefill. And um, his scope is, his, um, his kit is sold out. I believe Faye may be one or two left. Or she sold out too, but you could check with Lily on that. Faye is a girl, and she has a different face. But she shared the same body. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, later, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.